personal story segment tonight. The Bin Laden raid has knocked politics out of the headlines for now, but it won't be long before the presidential election back in the headlines. That means headlines like this. Look at this. From the New York Daily News, Mickey Mouse Donald. And on their website, racist allegations directed toward Donald Trump. Question is, why is Mr. Trump's hometown newspaper hammering him like this? Joining us now from our New York studio, the publisher of the New York Daily News, Mort Zuckerman. So what's the, what's the beef with Trump here, Mort? I don't think it's a beef in that sense. I think it is a judgment as to whether or not he is a credible or should be a credible candidate for the presidency of the United States. And I think that's a very different kind of thing than in whatever successes he's had in business or what have you. All right. Now, how do you make the determination? You know Trump, the Daily News does, very well. Yes. Um, he's done a lot of things in New York City, successful businessman. He says that he can turn the country around because of his business experience. He says that he's a stronger leader, wouldn't take a lot of garbage from China, and on and on. So how do you guys make the decision that he's not qualified, that he isn't uh, the right man for the job? He, he, he's had, as many people in the real estate business have had, he's had an up and down career in the business world. Uh, I take nothing away from his accomplishments. I take nothing away from his ability to promote himself and his brand. He's one of the few people who's been able to do that. But having said that, you know, the presidency is a very serious job. We're in a lot of trouble as a country, both domestically and internationally. You need people who've had a lot of really good experience and really good leadership experience within the context of government. You can't just go there and mouth off and think that you're going to solve the problems of this country. So I think that's the basis of it. I don't personally tell them what to write or what not to write, but I think that's the basis of what the concern is, and not just in uh, the New York Daily News, but in a lot of parts of this country. And I think that's All right, why so you're saying, you're saying that you want like a more seasoned person with experience on this level, and that's certainly valid. But, you know, you guys can be very nasty, and I, and I don't think the uh, racist stuff was did the New York Daily News any good at all. Um, the birther situation is there are people who felt that uh, legitimately the president should have produced the birth certificate. I don't, I don't think you can assign or ascribe to them race of motives on that, but you did to Trump. I, I, I've never, look, I've known Trump almost as long as you've known Trump. We both know the man for decades. I've never seen any racist element to Donald Trump, have you? No, but uh, look, the, I didn't uh, say, and I don't think we said that he is a racist. I think the issue, however, carries with it uh, certain overtones that I think really, really uh, are serious, and that is the following. Well, you got to check. We're putting it up I, on I, the screen. You got to check next to racist. Here. I understand, but that's what, pretty provocative. What, what, what? The issue of the way this whole issue of birthing. I mean, the, he, the short order or the short form of his birth certificate was made public was validated by all the people from Hawaii, all in the, in the government people. So it was just a question of why would this man not be believed? Okay, when everybody else was, and th that because they don't like him. Well, that, that's People a part don't of the like reason. I think look, it's because yeah, I have to say, opponents don't like him. I, 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 I think that was a part of it. I don't think that's the only part of it, and I think there was. Well, I don't think I mean, it's a skin color issue, Mort. I really don't. Well, I mean, I, on the part I don't of think it, I don't think it would have had traction with anybody else other than this candidate. And I'm, I'm, I, you should know. I mean, I'm not a great supporter of this president at this point. Okay, but that's not the issue. Right. I mean, this is not the issue that I think should be raised at this point and frankly turned out to be as you have seen it the long form just said what the, the short form said uh, we were against have, the uh, uh, we were we were against it i was against it i said it was nonsense it was right. and i told trump that to his face but i never would ascribe a race of motive now